Hi, I'm Sophia McLeod, the Director of Government Relations at the Association of Clinical Research Organizations. We are the trade organization for the world's largest clinical research organizations and technology companies. And I'm here today to talk about the proliferation of data privacy regulations, uh, both in the EU and around the world. When it comes to an increase in data, which is coming from an increase in new technologies and various devices, a lot of our ACRA member companies are increasing their capacity to handle all of that through new personnel and new technologies on their end. So we see them hiring more lawyers to kind of understand the legal frameworks around data privacy and protection. We also have um, new technologists being handled to understand how to design these new systems that will comply with new regulations. So it's a lot of work on the back end, but all good work to be done. I think in terms of the life sciences industry and the role they play in protecting data and reassuring patients that their data will be protected, outside of laws and regulations, our industry, going all the way back to the Hippocratic Oath from there to the Declaration of Helsinki, has had it built into their framework that data protection is key. So patients know when they enter into a clinical trial that their data protection is paramount. And that is the first thing that we think about when managing trials. In terms of streamlining regulations in the EU, the GDPR is a great step in working to harmonize what used to be you know, 28 different um, regulations. So the hope there is that you know, it'll kind of level the playing field. Everyone will start at the same baseline and go from there. And so that makes it easy for our member companies to have standards in place across everywhere that they're doing business. They can have the same legal framework processes, standards, makes the job a lot easier and everyone knows that their data is protected at the same standard across the region. Right now in the US, for example, we uh, have the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, and that's been around for almost 20 years now. And while CROs and sponsors and tech companies aren't considered to be covered entities or business associates under HIPAA and therefore aren't directly regulated by HIPAA, um, the rules in HIPAA have been widely accepted and the framework is in place all across the life sciences whether or not companies are required to comply. So there is already a, a really solid baseline of data privacy protection in the U.S. Um, I think companies now, a lot of companies in the U.S. are global, so they are already dealing with GDPR here. They've seen what's gone into such an overhaul, and they're kind of ready, their systems are ready to implement that when that comes in in the U.S. So those kind of things are in place. When you talk about big data and the collection of more and more data as technology evolves, I think the big conversation there is just making sure that we deploy the proper tactics to actually get the best use out of that data. So whether that's artificial intelligence and using that in certain processes in the trials that we're running or um, data sharing where appropriate, there's a lot of things we can do moving forward. Data sharing is a big theme of the future. Um, we've seen in the public sector directives for academic institutions that are federally funded and running trials, um, they've been incentivized and directed to actually pool their data together to further their studies. And in the private sector, you have organizations like Transcelerate, which ACRA works closely with, uh, made up of 20 of the biggest pharmas in the world. They are working on initiatives to share placebo, preclinical data, standard of care data, and really make those data sets robust. But when you're talking about the role of regulators, whether you're in the US with the FDA or data protection authorities in the EU, I think their main job really is to set the rules of the road and kind of lay out standards to further research, but also striking the balance of protecting the data that you gather while you're conducting the research. So, they set out standards, they let you know what they expect, and it's up to you really to exceed those standards. And that kind of sets you apart from other organizations and companies. And from there, I mean, on the back end, their job is really to 
make sure you're following the rules and if at all necessary, you know, sometimes a little slap on the wrist, but generally we're just looking for them to set the rules of the road.